look, we finally have a run going. I just had to switch over to New Game. New Game Plus! Yay! We're gonna get something done tonight, at least. Yeah, I am just, like, fighting with total exhaustion lately, which is weird because I spend my days just laying around the house drinking whiskey all day. It's like, it's not like I'm out doing a Stratos activity because I can't. Uh, I really can't think of any for like a for like a good PB because speedrunning is all highly personal. You know, because it's basically it's like you got to pick the game that you want to run because you gotta like you gotta have to like running that game forever and ever and ever and ever. So like tasking is different because then you can like take a look at a game and you know and. Okay. This is an interesting thing I can solve. You know, I can just work on this for a little bit and then be done with it. Whereas, like, speedrunning, you've got to invest a lot of your time and energy and want to do that in order to get a run go. And, of course, as I've said multiple times before, and I tell people who get interested in speedrunning, it's like, when you play the game, when you start speedrunning, you stop playing that game. It's like, I like Ninja Gaiden Black. Love it to death. And I no longer play that game the same way because I started to learn how to speedrun it. Because my original plan was to learn to speedrun Ninja Gaiden Sigma, which is the Ninja Gaiden Black on PlayStation 3. And then when I kept running into, like, all the weird, funky things with that version, while it looks a lot nicer and has these cool improvements and extra levels and stuff, it's got problems. <laughs> it's like, the, the big dodge mechanic has turned into a handspring, so it's slower, so it's harder for you to attack. And then there's just, like, constant, non-stop loading. Just does not end. Even, like, it has an option to install the game. Pardon me, install the game. It still loads non-stop. Run 30 feet, it loads. Turn a corner, it loads. And there's like a reason why there's like no runs last time I checked uh, on the leaderboards for that version of the game. Because it's just like, ugh. You don't want to have to spend the time to invest to get good at that one. Be better off just learning how to play Black, you know, Ninja Gaiden Black and, and have fun that way. Okay, what was that? All right, Rosa. I'm, I'm not sure what happened there. There you go. Okay, I need your 360 spin. There we go.
Daddy, you're dead. I mean, the rem- That's the witch twist. And it's the hardest thing to do with her because she has the longest frames to do it. John is 47 frames, Bayonetta is 48, she is 65. It is hard as heck to get vertical height with Rosa. Oops. There we go. So that's what you want to do ideally, is like jump as low as possible to the door bottom. No sound for me. Probably gonna hear a double echo real quick. Alright, just the sound like my ear's starting to hurt. Right ear, it's still recovering. There we go, so I have it barely right now. Let me know if you're hearing an echo. So you're gonna hear an echo for a second, but... Are you hearing one now, though? Still getting an echo, or is it resolved itself? Could have been. Like I said, I 
came out with the full power, so. Thinking maybe I'll get that wrong and not lose time to that. But nope. Get it wrong. Bullets. <laughs> Bullets were still tracking the other guy. That was weird. It still is. It's, it's shooting behind me. It's refusing. There we go. It's like it's refusing to go forward. That, I've been keeping with Twitch traditions. Never seen that happen before. That was special. You're dead, dude. Yeah, it's glitching up. To go back and clip that. So we'll see what other weird stuff happens during this run.
performance might make the back page of the classified. Oh no, he's drowning. Better hold his head underneath the water as long as possible while I swim to the shore. Definitely not surface for air. kid got dancing the dude I stand for the Umbra witches overseers of darkness I stand for the Umbra witches overseers of darkness can just do something about that. What the? I hate it when it does that. Just like randomly. It seems to only be that location. Like that will cause that to happen. It's like you get done with that part and just it buffers in like you trying to skip the cutscene quickly. It'll throw you into the menu sometimes. It only seems to be right there. Don't look at the programming. So I don't think I've seen that happen anywhere else. At least not at the top of my head. Alright, remember there is no cutscene to skip at the beginning.
gotta wait for you to cut your shield. There we go. Hurt me. Discord, more common. Made an interesting discovery the next fight coming up. Is that in New Game Plus, or it's in that New Game Plus, but basically he's doing what's, what I'm kind of calling it the Platinum Cheat Code Run, which is where you buffer up enough money, like two and a half million halos, in order to buy the, uh, the input, the Platinum Code, which is a secret code to unlock items faster. So you grind up the two and a half million halos with Jean. Go by the uh, the Climax Brace, which gives you infinite magic, and then start up. And you found right here, like, if you just do, like, your 360 attack, but then just, like, you know, just, and just sit there and let the button hold there, it will, like, you kill the first part here, and it will not move on to the second. It just keeps doing the same thing over and over and over. So it keeps, like, it keeps coming back, like, it's not getting more damage. And just keep you keep, keep it tracked, but it's like it's still going up and climbing up all the combo damage. So if you sit there for like another two to three minutes or so, you can actually like farm another two three million points easily. So you can then go and buy the climax two bracelet, which makes it like your Umbrun climax even stronger, which is what I have on right now for new game plus runs. So that might be beneficial. Yeah, as if you spend like three minutes, just like two or three minutes there hanging out, grinding a whole absurd amount of money in this fight, finish the level, go back, Put in the code for the Climax 2 bracelet, that will speed up the game because you're even stronger. That might make up for the time loss. So it's like, ooh, so that's gonna definitely take some more investigation. If we decide to make it into an actual category, that's the whole thing, because right now cheat codes are not allowed. We'd have to create its own category for it. And he's the only one doing it right now. Heard me. So now we take our little detour into the entrance to hell. Halfway through the game. If 
Feels a little low. We'll see. Oh, just got it. Didn't get the jump off. This is simply the benefit of training. Try to keep up. Hey, wait, we need something to open it. Oh, nothing. It's just something I like to do. It's just a silly little quirk that they put into the game. Okay! That was unique. Doesn't matter, we still gotta wait for it to load anyway. This is one of those little funny things, is like you just go leaping off to your death and the game's like, Oh no, you, you landed on the platform. You're good. I do it just about every single run. Game. Don't throw me off the edge. Yeah, I've heard prisoners say the same thing. This jail won't hold me. And it does. It gave me the dodge? What? <laughs> Excuse me? That's not even close enough to give you, like, dodge range, so... Like I said, the game is acting a little funny, so... Not too surprising, but that was weird.
darkness is the absence of light. might make the back page of the classified. All right, mini boss land. Mini boss rush land. What I attempted to say and failed miserably. You see a jump like that, it's usually like it would normally be a real big problem if you're not playing New Game Plus. Because it just like usually it does like a side to side hop and then it's gonna jump completely over your head to the other side. So this would be a big problem if I wasn't doing New Game Plus. Yeah, and actually it looked like it glitched. It didn't look like the usual one, like I was seeing things clip through each other. Come on, get up there. There we go. This is simply the benefit of training. Pardon me.
here. And so is my target by the looks of it. Jean, there she is. Hold up. You're not serious. Now, if we're gonna find a way to skip these things, this would be a huge discovery. Chill, Bayonetta. Don't go shooting up my target, you dig? I need that one intact. Normal pain in our sides, but not too much now, hopefully. Alright, magical unicorn ride, here we go. You have to dodge the first one. The game will literally stop you and say, hey, you need to dodge. Doesn't care if you have a yellow activated or not. Really? Hmm. Interesting comparison. True. It is pretty stylized. Alright, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna do the quick kill on Balder. I'm gonna risk it. So he's dead right now. So you run the risk every time, but it seems to be really low. This is simply the benefit. Talking scene? Is 
in the Matrix? Unless I'm misunderstanding something here. First movie? Or are we talking like second? Because the second are just a bad rumor. Yeah, see, those are fan movies. I can see I could be confused by it. I mean, the quality wasn't really as good as the first ones. But yeah, it's just a bad fan movie. I, I, I hate to break that news to you, but there was only one Matrix movie. Seems a lot of people get confused. They can swear that they saw it in the movie theaters. I'm just like, no, no, not really. Sorry. Like I said, it's a, it's a very common misconception that there is more than one Matrix movie. Just a bad fan movie, so you know. I read the original scripts, and so uh, I'm totally not in denial about it at all. No, not whatsoever. It's everybody else who's wrong. Yes, we are. Yeah, so it's like, that's always like the big popular joke if you've never heard it before and you're completely clueless. Like, dude, what do you mean like there was no other ones here? There were actually sequels to The Matrix, but everyone jokes because they're so crappy that they didn't actually make them. It's like, nope, those are just fan movies, just rumors. So it means like, I got to read the early draft scripts for the sequels. Back when they were actually like two and three were supposed to be one film, then they split it up. And the original scripts were just mind-blowing, like, everything, it wasn't all this nonsense focused on, like, oh, like, well, why are you doing this? Because I choose to. But why did you choose to do it? Because I must. But the choice is, like, why did I not do it? It's like, all that nonsense did not exist in the original scripts. All that, all that choosing and choice, none. Didn't exist. He's basically, he's like, Kriti's gonna die, I need to save her, I need to figure out what's happening and make sure it doesn't happen. Now is Neo's preoccupation for the entire movie. It wasn't this like, well, I choose to do it. It's like, nope, didn't exist. So, the highway scene was a lot more interesting. I mean, the highway chase, because Neo shows up pretty early in it. And um, he's like fighting agents who've been upgraded. Like, even the original scene, like, where he's fighting the agents in the very beginning, he's like, oh, upgrades. It's like, because he's bored to hell. He's just, like, he's questioning, like, the inner monologue of the original script was, like, he's just bored with everything now with the Matrix, because when you, when you have the power of God, and you can do anything you want, you get bored real quick. And that's pretty much what happened to Neo. So he's just, like, ho-hum just destroying these agents, and all of a sudden they get an upgrade mid-fight. He's like, whoa, okay, so like all of a sudden they are just like going like, they're able to match his speed, and it's like raining outside, and you can see like the raindrops slow down, and they're like moving super fast while everything's just going super slow motion, and they're like, they're going one after one, like, they're basically matching his speed perfectly, so he's actually got to concentrate and get serious in order to defeat the agents who got the upgrades. And yeah, then there's the whole stupid Smith fight that didn't need to happen. That was in the original script, too. But yeah, agents were more of a threat because they kept getting upgrades to match his speed and his abilities. So, like, in the highway scene, there was one part where, like, like I said, Neo shows up early in that scene. Like, not at the very end to save Morpheus in the, the end. But, um, so he's, like, he's trying to get to the Keymaker like everybody else is. But he's got the agents on his butt. And, like, one part they describe, and they actually had it, like, storyboarded out that um, it's like he's fighting agents on the highway and they're just knocking each other into like semi trucks and trailers At one point like they get knocked into like his minivan you know those terrified families like driving down the road and like Neo and like an agent are just slugging out in the backseat of this like minivan soccer van and then like he knocks him out like through the other side of the door and everything else there and these cars are flipping over it's just like this humongous orchestrated chaos and it's just amazing what was written down in the, the early pre-visualization storyboards and just none of it happened 
You know, cause then we got the crap that happened. And also, originally, you know, the part where, like, Neo basically, you know, they're like, oh crap, you know, the Sentinels are on us, we gotta get out of here, they're running out of the ship, he's like, I feel them. And the whole thing, like, where he actually stops with his mind, it's, it was originally supposed to be that, yeah, they have not escaped the Matrix, they are just at another level of the Matrix. That's how he was able to stop those things with his mind in the quote-unquote real world, which is why it also had a blue filter, because they weren't out yet. They were just basically escaped to a subsection that kept most people happy. Like, oh, cool, and that, you know, gives them more purpose because the entire thing is about control. You know, basically keeping people brainwashed and in the mass, so the people who reject the original, like, programming of the Matrix would basically say, find a purpose in this new sub-level of the Matrix. And they wouldn't fight it anymore because they would think that they were out, and then Neo realizes the truth, and he has to basically try to get everybody out. They said the original scripts were just like, holy crap, and they started to go that way, and then, uh, didn't. So, uh, Train Man was in the original script. He was, like, the final gatekeeper for, like, the, uh, like, for the purgatory, basically, for people to get out of, like, the Matrix and, the, like, and for the machine world back in, so he was still in it. He was still in that original script. But uh, Seraph, who is like the uh, attendant to the Oracle, it, it kind of explains it like his lore. And they mentioned it briefly in the movies because they left a part in the script which is really confusing otherwise, is that he used to be an angel. He was an archangel. So there was like this throwaway script line where like a thug saying like, hey, what happened to your wings? Because he was an angel. He was like a rogue program who teamed up with the Oracle and became her protector. Yeah, it was it was even cooler. Like I said, everything you saw was like half of what it was originally written to be. It wasn't just like people like flipping and running up on the ceiling, like there was like full fights, like they'd start up there and then walk up pillars, keep fighting each other, and then run around the ceiling. It was just it was one of those things where like you read the script and it's just like, you're thinking there's they're not going to be able to pull this off. And that pretty much was the case with what happened. I mean, especially like for, for, what, it, for what it used to be. And, and that's not the only time that's ever happened in the script. But basically, up oh, here we go, Twitch is dropping frames again. Just got the unstable warning, hey, our servers are messing up again. But, like, the other one that, like, really kind of, like, really, like, upset me was actually, like, the script. The original script for Kill Bill is actually still online, the original draft. And if you've seen the movie, you know, it's just, it's incredible what it was. Like, the first half of the script pretty much lines up with what the original first movie was, except for that it took parts from, like, the second movie and moved it, like, the, the whole church massacre scene was actually, like, the start of the original movie. Where she's like getting married to like this nobody in some town and Bill shows up and the whole crew and just like slaughters everyone. So that was in the first version of it and then like she wakes up from her coma, everything's still the same there, she kills Buck. The, the uh, attendant who was like selling her out, prostituting her in a coma. Yeah, you know, she kills him the same way and slashes Achilles tendon, bites out his throat. That's all the same. But, um, but the biggest thing was that Gogo, -Go, who was, like, the girl with, like, the spiked chain in the, uh, the movie that the bride has to face, she had an identical twin named, um, Yuki. And Yuki played, like, a huge part in the second movie, and they just completely cut that idea out. It's like, in the start of Kill Bill, like, you hear, like, an ice cream truck riding by, like, in the background as she's walking up to the Black Viper's home to, to kill her. And Yuki was supposed to be in that truck, like she tracked the bride to L.A. and was going to get revenge for the death of her sister. And there was this huge 
um, chase scene and like where they're just like running through neighborhoods just blowing the crap out of cars and houses and trying to kill each other. The bride gets shot up pretty bad, has to call a nurse that used to be like a kind of like an underground nurse or, or underground doctor. She's got to call her like, she's like, hey, I'm going to die. I need your help. And the person's like, well, I'm retired. She's like, I don't care. I'm going to die. I need your help. So it's like she convinces her to like to, to patch her up and, and save her life. And that was almost all completely cut out. Bill goes on an assassination mission. Like he's not just like, like, oh, I'm just going to direct my other people to kill people. Like he goes out and does hits himself. Like he's in Vegas and goes to this like underground, like this illegal penthouse casino. And everything just kind of sucks. It's just like rip off like rich people and he basically throws like the woman who's his target right out the window it's like all sorts of crazy stuff that just didn't didn't make it in because he decided at the last second to turn the second half of the movie into a western because the entire script originally was a straight full-on through kung fu revenge film So yeah, it's like, you can still read the Kill Bill script, the original one online, it's like 300 pages. But it's just like, it would have been so much more amazing had they stuck to that and decided not to make the second movie. Because those words are supposed to be another long, full movie, but then once again they changed that up, so... I split it into two parts, and they just decided to take the second part and turn it into a western. Yeah, like, the, the original Matrix was was quite amazing. I saw that movie opening day, and, like, like we basically went to it as a joke. I mean, it was my brother and my friend. Um, we are just like, oh, let's go see this movie, because we have no idea what the hell it was. I mean, we had seen, like, all the, uh, the TV spots, and we had no idea what it was. We thought we were just going to go watch a crappy movie, like, just a terrible B movie. And then, like, the moment that, like, you see Trinity run on the wall and just beat the crap out of the cops, like, Jaws, like, dropped in the theater. There was, like, 15, 20 people in the theater on opening day when I first saw it, like, the very first showing after school. And, like, our Jaws just, like, stayed on the floor the entire time. We're just like, oh my god. You know, like, when you see Morpheus and Neo square off, people were saying out loud like are those stunt doubles and i'm like no those are the you know it's like they are actually fighting like they learned kung fu apparently because like those are not stunt doubles and we're like holy crap so like the movie gets done everyone's like out of breath because it, it's totally exhausting to watch the first time like without any spoilers and uh so it's like we literally like we're telling people like in line for other movies like what are you what are you going to go see don't go see the matrix <laughs> it's like yeah i don't like don't watch that movie go see the matrix it was like it was literally one of those movies that kind of spread by word of mouth come here you die oh yeah yeah i actually have that like the whole like two hour making of thing which is pretty cool, but I just remember, like, in the theater, you could hear people say, like, are those stunt doubles? It's like, and, like, I yelled out, like, no, that's them. <laughs> it was, like, it was, like, a really wild screening. You know, it's, it's just something we had not seen before. And then they kind of blew their wad at the end with, like, more, like, with Neo flying away. It's like, well, you don't really have anywhere else to go at this point, really. It's like you, you've invented Superman. Super Jesus. As he rises from the dead, after all. So then, like, the sequel, they had to have problems with it. Like, so the original script was just so, so much more amazing. Actually, the early versions... I said, I've only seen this once. I have not seen it online. The version I actually got to see was an uncut version of the original Matrix. And it had a time code on the bottom. It was sent to me by a friend of mine who had connections. I had to send them the tape back. It was quite special, and I didn't have a way to dub it or anything. But um, it's like if you pay attention in the first Matrix movie, you see Trinity is raising up her hands to everything. Like she's about to get run over in the beginning of the phone booth. The reason why she's raising up her hand is because she could slow time. It wasn't like 
fast enough to like to stop bullets or dodge bullets like Neo could do, but she could basically control time like she could slow it down a little bit, which is why she keeps doing that throughout the movie. Yeah, but then it figured like, well, we need Neo to be like this almighty like savior, so we gotta take that part out. So they basically remove those effect shots, like because those originally like if she's about to get run over. You see, like, the truck, like, the headlights just going, like, right at her, and then all of a sudden she gets sucked into the phone. And so it's like, but when you take that out then, like, at the beginning, because you're completely lost at the beginning otherwise, where all of a sudden you just see this this lady, like, you see her run for the, the phone booth, you're like, what the hell is it so important about that phone call? And it just gets flattened by the truck, and then her body's not there, and you're like, what? So I think that that was kind of, like, the better choice, really. You know, because that just leaves you more confused, and that's the entire point of the movie, is to have you disoriented at first, before you get exposed to, like, hey, this is a computer simulation, it's all supposed to be kind of weird and dreamlike. But yeah, that's that's the reason why. So, it, basically, that was the only thing that was cut out of the original theatrical release of The Matrix, was that Trinity could slow things down. Yeah, exactly! So you're just like... So, if you saw her, like, slowing down the truck in the beginning, then you kind of know, like, okay, something's up, but then if you take that part out, gotta pay attention, if you take that part out, then you have that whole mystery to solve. And it makes Neo seem more powerful, because, like, like, hey, we need you to be the one, like, you can, you can do whatever you want, but that wouldn't hold up if you have people who are sort of, like, halfway, like, his ability. Yeah, all that seems, the only thing that changed from that, like, uncut version I managed to see one time, and I keep waiting for it to, like, hopefully be released someday. Show up anywhere. It's sitting in a vault someplace, Warner Brothers, no doubt. But, yeah, it's like, that was the only part that was cut, was that, like, that Trinity had the ability to, like, slightly slow down time. It wasn't, like, really drastic, but it was enough to be noticed. So yeah, if you're looking for something to read, look at the, you know, read the Kill Bill script. I can find it real quick. used to be like really easy to find and then they kind of buried the links for it. I found it not too long ago again. This is New Game Plus. doesn't matter whatsoever.
Okay, I think I found it. Yeah, it's a PDF. It used to be a text file online, but it looks like now it's a PDF. Like, they actually got the actual, like, straight off, like, legit credit. Because it used to be, like, the original version of it. Let's see. I'm giving a quick read through. Yeah, here we go. So this is the original Kill Bill script. Put it up there in a second. And it didn't stop it in time. It was like 47? 48? It's like a two second PB. 